Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Let's head on into the final bonus dungeon of the game, the Anemos Inner Sanctum. I've already done a little bit in here with uh, treasure, unlocking the front door with 72 gin, making it to the first summon tablet, which I already got. I like how they use the music here for uh, Soul Sanctum in the first game there. Nice touch game. Let's see, I've rearranged my party as I have listed in the video description there. Pretty similar to the setups that I've had before. Might want to bring the Iris robe around for Ivan later, but it's not absolutely critical. Same thing with the Gaia blade. I'm only bringing that around for defensive purposes, not to actually use it, like for offense or anything like that. Just the Venus resistance is nice. Let's see, some luck boosting equipment is nice too. Uh, especially the festival coat, and hopefully you've been giving all those lucky peppers to peers, and you absolutely need the turtle boots for the strategy that I will be using after the, or against the super boss of the game that lies at the end of this place. This dungeon is not extraordinarily long. I like the long dungeons in this game, though. Oh well. The right paths, they just lead to dead ends, so don't worry about that. But here we got a new enemy, Sky Dragon. Let's see, this one is weak to Jupiter, so let's take advantage of that. Let's see, it can inflict the Venom status on you, so you might want to watch out for that. It has a lot of HP. I need all my party members just to take one of these guys down. There's not a whole lot of new enemies around here. Or just enemies in general. They're all new. I think there's like four of them and that's it. But they have a lot of HP. Fortunately, they don't show up in extraordinarily large groups usually. The path to the right would be a dead end for now. Now this room, we got this block here that's going to move. Or mirror your movements in the room. And we got to get it to a certain spot. But first things first, I need to kill that Bombander there on the left. Let's see, that guy... Let's go with Lull here. Yeah, I think this will work. Actually, let's go with Blitz instead. But let's see, the Bombander on the left there is V2 Mercury. They could potentially stun you, so you want to watch out for that. Let's see, the Mad Demon there has Condemn, so he could inflict instant death. No, it is not the Condemn from the Final Fantasy games with the Countdown status. It kills you right away. Although it is pretty inaccurate, but it can work. Okay, let's see. With the Mad Demon there, that guy has over 700 HP. Holy cow! For a random enemy. So, let's see what we can do. That guy is also weak to Jupiter. Uh, yeah, like I said, they can inflict instant death there. They've got 745 HP. So, hopefully Felix will be able to deal the bulk of the damage there. Awesome. Phew! Wow, that's a lot of gin I used in one battle there. Okay, so yeah, like I said, the block on the left mirrors your movement. Get it onto the switch there, and once it's there, it'll just stay right where it is. Let's see, the upper path is just a big pit there that you can't do anything with, so don't worry about it. But we do have the last new enemy around here, Grave White. Those guys can inflict haunt, or they could potentially stun you. So you want to watch out for that? Let's see. Hmm. Can I kill both in one round? I don't think so. Now, that would be a pretty tall order, I think. Mm, maybe I could. Yeah, let's give it a try. I'll play it a little risky, because if I miss, then, yeah, we could be in some trouble here. Let's see. Let's go like that. We might be able to get them both in one round. Shuriken helps out a lot. Well, we got the hard one out of the way. Hey! All right! I mean, I knew what I was doing all along. I meant to do that. I knew I could kill them in one round. Let's see. The right path from where we started the floor goes around here. But, as you can see, we couldn't have done anything with it. But, might as well just open up the exit path to satisfy my OCD. The left stairs lead to a dead end for now. That's another exit path. Okay, in this room... We got these black circles, and if you step on all of them, they turn white, and then that activates this little elevator pad, I guess, or something like that. 
Okay. The stairs that I just passed up recently, they would have led to these stairs. But this pillar would have been in the way, so this is just another exit path from the dungeon. Okay, the path up here leads around to that block in the upper left there, so it's just a dead end. I got a lot of dead ends in this place, but alright. One of these guys, I think I can barely take him down in one round. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. I'm surprised Ivan could deal that much damage to the guy. And the bigger they are, the more HP they got. At least they're pretty consistent with that. Yeah, this is where another one of those dead-end paths would have led you. The other side of that pit, though. I don't know why they have all these blocks here. It seems like they're just there to get in your way. Seriously, I, I don't know what the point of all these things are, but okay. Let's see, we can't do anything up there. There's a pillar in the way. That's another exit path. And this is the Star Traffic's room, where you can only move one tile at a time. And you gotta hit all of these black circles here without stepping on any of these cracked tiles twice, or you'll fall down. I don't know where you'd fall down. You know, let me check that. Let's see, if you went on the same tile twice, Ah, all right. Well, I guess that maybe that's why they got the green blocks there. But yeah, we don't need to do that. Just make sure you don't step on the same tile twice. Boom, we're up to the next floor. Yeah, I'm using a little bit more synergy than I would like. I don't have quite enough, or I haven't had any battles where I could use like Aroma or Ember to keep up on that yet. Yeah, the path to the left there, that's just another exit path. Man, they got a lot of those in these dungeons. Oh, this is the way I came. Whoops. Okay, we can fight one more battle before we get to the next room. Why not? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just do this the usual way, I guess. I was hoping to get a little synergy restored, but no! I suppose I could have delayed the battle longer to do that, but I'd rather do it as I go. Okay, now this room, we've got the door on the left, stand on the switch, we open it. And... Oh. Okay. Yeah, we can't keep the door open like that, because... Well, you gotta have something to sit on that switch constantly. Whatever shall we do? Well, we gotta get over to the right side of the room first. Lower right. I think I can get in some synergy restoration this time. Let's see, how are you looking on your synergy? Hmm, I can't see your maximum. Not from there, anyway. Hmm, let me see if with ether. Hmm. Yeah, I think Aroma will be enough. If I recall correctly, I think Aroma restores, like, 16 synergy points to all party members. Something like that, so, yeah, that's good. Once we get the next treasure, we'll want to be careful with our synergy because we'll be getting close to the super boss. Okay, now this room is a little tricky, but nothing we can't handle, I don't think. Okay, so now we need to go down one, then we go up two. Oh, almost ran right into that pit there. Look at the block, not where Felix is. That's what I always do when I'm going through those rooms. Okay, so here, we've got to get the two right pillars into these indentations in the ground, so that way they'll stay there when I'm going back and forth between these rooms. Unfortunately, this puzzle in the big room there requires you to do a lot of backtracking. I like the concept of the puzzle, though, with all these paths looping around to each other, back and forth. I love it when they do that with rooms where there's almost like multiple layers to the room and 
either literally or figuratively in this case. Hmm. Yeah, I think I can do this one in one round. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we go like that. I think I did this earlier in this recording, though I might be misremembering to when I was practicing earlier today. Yeah, we got it. Okay, good. Yeah, Felix can almost one-shot that guy, but he's got like 460 HP, so yeah, not close enough, not within the margin of error here. So now that we've gotten, or now that we get these two pillars in place there, now it's easier for us to move around the room and move stuff around. But we do need to make one more loop around the place again. Kind of reminded of Sonic the Hedgehog a little bit. With how some of those stages just had you looping around over and over again until you got to where you wanted to go, except that was immensely faster. And I don't have anything for you to do, Felix, so you get to take a coffee break, I guess. Whee! And we got the rainbow kill. Awesome. Okay, so now we can actually get the door open for us. First things first, get the rock out of the way so we can get that pillar moved over to the left. Then, with these two pillars out of the way, or the two rightmost pillars out of the way, now we can actually get this out of the way so we can get back up here, because if you go up to leave the room to get around to the right side of this pillar, the rock will no longer be floating there. Why we couldn't just lift the rock over to the switch, I don't know. That would have been enormously easier. But, okay. How are you doing there, Garrett? Hmm, not quite at all. Hmm, I think the upper path is a dead end. But I'll check it out anyway, just to make sure. Oh, I might have been able to... Yeah, I could have had peers, like, restore some of Garrett's synergy. Yeah. Wow, I'm surprised you, we were able to kill him without Felix pitching in. Huh. Yeah, yeah, dead end. Well, at least it didn't cost me a random battle. Okay, the third and final block puzzle room, or whatever you call this thing. Okay, hmm. Okay, so we go up. Okay, so what I need to do is get this block right above that green block there and go down to and I think we're good as long as I don't flip the corner of any of these pits. Haha! -ha! I'm almost surprised I got that on the first try if it weren't for all the practice I did earlier today. Alright, and the final chest in the dungeon? Eh, nothing I really care about. If you can get this far without forged equipment, you're, you don't need that. <laughs> you don't need any of it, really. Mm, I hope I can get into another battle. I'm getting too many that require me to use synergy to kill without taking damage. Let's see, the upper path we can't do anything with. Okay, well, here's a battle that doesn't require me to use synergy to win. Hmm. Yeah, I'll only be able to get one Synergy Restoration Genie going, but that's okay. I might be able to walk off the rest of it. Unfortunately, though, I did need Felix to make the finishing blow on that one, instead of using Ember. Okay, hmm. Wait a minute. No, we don't want to go down there yet. Yeah, I knew there was something to this. I was like, wait, what? So yeah, you had to circle around to the left side of this part. Or this floor. Instead of going straight up from there. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to come back down the middle. And then go to the right without stepping through 
a couple of those cracked tiles there and you'd fall down and you'd have to start all over. So that's why you had to take the long way around like usual in this game. Unless they're trying to fake you out or something. Yeah, the game likes to do that frequently, but not today. Not today. Usually if it's in this dungeon, if it's the long way around, it's the right way. Especially if it's to the left. When in doubt, go left. That's always been my motto. Doesn't work too well when I'm driving, but... Well, not in my country, anyway. Okay, this is the final room, but I do need to get a little more synergy. Unfortunately, that last battle required me to use a lot of it, so... Let's get into another battle so I can use my gin to restore all that. Okay, that should be good. Okay, I don't think there's any random battles in this room, but here we've got... Well, not really a puzzle to solve. But we do have to move these blocks around in order to do stuff. So we just gotta basically match them up to the pictures. The two on the left and the right are pretty easy to figure out, but the ones in the middle, well, they don't quite perfectly match what the picture is representing, but whatever. Yeah, it doesn't exactly look like a circle on the tiles on the ground there in the middle, but yeah, whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I think no matter what you do, you're going to have to kind of take a roundabout way to get all these where you want them to be. But that's okay. Kind of weird that they only have this one mechanic for this particular puzzle. I kind of like that, though, that they have some unique, more uniqueness to them. I don't know what's going to happen when we get a, put them all together, but I guess you're just supposed to assume that matching the blocks to, yeah, the, or to the tiles is supposed to do something there. But can we defeat the optional super boss of the game without the use of summons? Find out next time on Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!